it is time for another season of the gauntlet um, I believe it's a season 9 uh, the last one of course was the Porsche Carrera S that was uh, probably one of the longest and it felt very long um, but anyway so we got a new one here for Nissan Altima to uh, complete the trifecta of I guess um, the supercars they introduced in this update of course we had the uh, Holden Commodore VF and then Ford Falcon and then the here's the third one to complete the set uh, Nissan Altima so here we go high stakes racing as they call it and you get to pick up 90 gold and 100,000 racing dollars. So let's jump in. This one actually started a couple of days ago. Um, so, but there was a Riera event was still going on, the championship event, as well as a team top speed challenge, which was a lot of fun. Um, so, um, and anyway, so initially it started out with a like a six days event. Um, and for anyone who's not familiar, the gauntlet, um, the timer they have in the corner there is pretty much uh, universal, meaning doesn't matter what time uh, you start the event, it's always going to end for everybody at the same time. So it kind of expires after four days, and of course, because we're going by the Fire Monkey's clock, it's more like five days for normal people. But uh, they counted four days. Then at the end of the fourth day, it, the countdown changes to 24-hour countdown, so hourly countdown. So it ends up being more like five days. But uh, well, you know, it's nice to have that extra day, I suppose, at the end if you're running out of time. So, uh, which I always find myself in that situation. Anyway, so you have to collect 250,000 uh, gauntlet points to uh, win this car. And there are more or less five days. So if you, you know, pace yourself and collect somewhere around 50,000 gauntlet points, which I would assume isn't terribly demanding. I mean, you definitely have to do your share of racing but uh, if you do that and kind of keep stay on it consistently you should uh, be able to win this car without too much trouble um, even if you know if you fail a challenge then you start over from the the first challenge uh, first set of challenges I should say which are pretty easy so um, here, let's uh, check out the structure of uh, ranks here. We start, of course, at uh, rank 0. Um, so rank 0 and rank 1, we use the, the same set of cars, which we have uh, Targa and 71 Challenger RT. So, you know, older, kind of slower cars, as they always uh, tend to start on. Then rank two, we get looks like a new set of cars, and rank three and four, they're beginning to kind of add a car, drop a car, until we get to rank five, and at which point we get a new set of cars, kind of fresh set of two cars, and then go back to kind of add one, take one out uh, till the end. So good deal and yes we still use the ticket system so each challenge takes two uh, tickets and you get 20 tickets which re replenishes uh, every half an hour so yeah and then yeah, you have to collect a certain amount of um, Gauntlet, po gauntlet points for each challenge complete and then you don't get to bank it until you actually take out the 
uh, or you win the boss challenge or take the take magnets out of the game um, anyway so two laps at Catalunya I'd assume this is gonna be a pretty short uh, possibly uh, maybe the club circuit so here's the Targa and the uh, 71 Challenger RT uh, neither of which I don't believe has any gold upgrades put in so they're all cash upgrades only We'll start with this one. Yep, the club circuit. Many of these uh, events, by the way, uh, challenges are very short. Uh, gauntlet challenges don't tend to be very long races, which is okay by me. So we just have to win. Talk about a change of pace uh, after uh, flying around track, tracks, different tracks in Riera, um, and then uh, come to drive this guy, um, Targa. Yes, very uh, different to say the least. Anyway, that was a pretty easy goal as you would expect, uh, 2000 uh, gauntlet points. And since the setup event, oh, the car needs to be serviced, all right. Since the gauntlet event is set in a way that, you know, the setup challenges that I have to do is going to be more or less different from what you guys, each of you guys have to do because they're randomized, the challenges and conditions. So um, probably won't make every race video since that's not going to help anybody. Um, so I'll probably just, you know, pick a few key races um, to upload if they're of any interest. Um, so yeah, and maybe, maybe uh, do a few boss challenges. But anyway, so good luck to you all, get started. Um, especially if you don't have any of the cars featured in this season of Gauntlet, since uh, if you have to upgrade those cars to compete, then uh, you know that takes or eats up extra time. So, yep. All right. Good luck to you all. Hope you guys all win the car. <laughs>